Hey guys, welcome to Living Tomorrow Today. My name is Julio and today we are going to talk about how to hook up the Hensley hitch. In my last video, which I'll link up there, I talked about how to disconnect. Today we are going to connect. So I talked about uh, in the last video measuring, uh, getting a rough idea of where uh, the, the stinger is going to be and I measured it last time to about 18 inches So just to help me and make things a little easier. I'm gonna bring this down to where it's to about 18 inches Again, lots of things can affect this if there's the ground will affect this by an inch or two or maybe even more it Just depends the angle of the truck the angle of the RV. This is just to get you at a decent starting point so I sprayed lubricant already. I don't know that I have to do that. I, I, don't pro I probably don't have to. I just do it more out of habit already and just to make sure that everything is, is easier for me. So I'm gonna make sure again that everything is loose before I connect. I need to make sure that this is tight. And uh, everything else should be good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna line up the truck. I'm gonna bring it up to as close as I can before I connect. Make sure I'm lined up and then I'm going to back it right in and hopefully I should get a pretty simple and quick connection. It looks like I'm a little too high still, so I'm going to bring the trailer down just a little bit. Now one thing about the hinge of the hitch is that you can hook up from all sorts of angles. So it could be like this, it could be completely twisted. It doesn't have to be lined up. So what you hear right now, um, the siren, where we're, where we're at right now uh, near uh, Hamburg, Pennsylvania, that is the siren whenever they need the fire department. And it lets everybody know that, hey, we need you to show up. So I guess they don't have like a pager system for them or, or anything like that. I think it's all volunteer. So we're gonna have to hear that now for a couple of minutes. The first night we were here, we were like, what the heck is going on? Like, is there a tornado or what? But we found out that that is to let the fire department know, hey, we need you to start coming in to work or whatever. So if you can see, the truck is going that way a little bit and the RV, it's not perfectly lined up. So I'm gonna adjust the truck so that I'm coming in at a better angle. So what helped was really aligning the truck in a better position to be lined up with uh, the hitch. Not necessarily the RV. The RV and the hitch can be at different angles, but you want the stinger to be lined up with where it's going to go into the RV. So once I did that, as you can see, I made a much better connection. And if I didn't say it before, make sure that your RV is still chocked. That should be the last thing you do. Okay, so as you can see right here, that is extremely loose, right? So I'm just gonna give it a little turn. Probably needs. There we go. Now it's loose also. There. So that was pretty simple. I didn't use a ton of. I didn't use a ton of force to make that close. That way, when uh, it comes to unhook it, I'm not trying to fight a ton of tension and uh, I can't unhook. So now that we've hooked up, I'm gonna adjust uh, the uh, weight distribution bars right here. For my truck, I found that I usually go up to uh, the second notch from, or the middle notch, I guess. It, they're hard to see. When they first told me about these notches, they're almost easier to feel than see because they're very, very light indentations. And um, if you look from this side, I, I can see them, but the camera I doubt will we'll see them. But there's uh, one, two, and three right here. I go for the center notch, which is right here. And you can adjust this after you have weight. I don't have any weight, of course, on the uh, Hensley yet. So it's real easy to do it. But if you're driving and you feel that, you know, you need to adjust this, you can do it while there's weight on it. You don't have to disconnect to make those adjustments. Now, 
So now I'm all hooked up, got my chains, I got my light cable, and now I'm just gonna raise all the weight off of the jack and uh, put it on the truck. That pretty much does it. I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, I'm gonna finish raising the jack, then I'm gonna go take the uh, ultimate chocks off and put those away and we're ready to roll out of here. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the description and I'll be happy to get back to you. I will see you guys at the next video. Uh, we are leaving Pennsylvania and we're gonna go spend our first night anywhere uh, in a parking lot. We're going to a Cabela's in Connecticut and then making our way up to New Hampshire. So uh, I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye. Bye.